Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Hope you have a wonderful day. In this video, we're going to talk about, I guess, what you've been reading over in the past few days in the news. Okay. That goes to do with <laughs> finance. finance and money and anything to do related when it comes to personal finance. Let's say. Okay, we used to live in Sydney, family of four. Mm -hmm. um, two young kids in primary school. So earlier, oh, not this year, last year. Uh, mid last year we moved up to brisbane because of job op opportunity and also um shipping cheaper not living standard cheaper housing prices yeah, li living lifestyle is a lot more cheap as well i, mm, I feel i feel like that i think depends on uh, yeah. anyway we'll go through that mm -hmm. um one is that uh we we're from there and then i uh, read so many news i think many things happening in sydney a lot of uh murdering <laughs> and i think people trying to get out of sydney we were not thinking getting out of sydney before but it was just a financial choice and uh living style standard with the kids as well bigger space and cheaper housing um and the other one was uh, i was reading news also because it seems like a lot of fine dining or higher end restaurants they are uh closing down uh, and then we were just talking about that. It feels yeah. like middle class used to, like us used to, we like to go fine dining, not all the time, maybe yeah. maybe once or twice, uh, a few months time. I don't know, like maybe a year, but at least there's an option. But for now, no, no scrape it because of inflation going up, yeah. living, your mortgage is going higher, interest rate going higher, your salary is not going anywhere. So that's why people have to cut. Where do you cut? The first thing would be dining. fine dining. Fine dining. So, so fine dining is going down. Fine dining is cut, and then any not any want may get cut. Luxury item, but you were saying um, like rich, the very rich will cut down fine dining. I said no, they won't cut it. It doesn't affect them. It's middle class hurt the most because interest there. You still have to pay your mortgage. Mm -hmm. um everything go on but you just can't have fine dining and then we were we have one of our friend um yeah. the husband got made redundant and then they used to go love to go fine dining or go go yeah. dine out like at least two three times a week mm -hmm. and of course i'm not going to ask how are they are they going to still go out um for dinner and then i'm sure financially the, it would it would be they have to cut down yeah that's another reason yeah mm. And we look, I look at it also the other way around. So if you're used to going to fine dining, then you go down to level into like just a, um, a takeaway shop. Right? Mm -hmm. And from that takeaway shop, maybe go down a bit more to like, like a maybe local shop, a yep. local restaurant, and then go down and go down and go down. So and Just stay at yeah. home. Yeah, some of them is like, hey, I'm just going to stay at home. Or some of them goes, all right, then instead of a fine dining, mm. go to your corner small business type mm. of restaurant. From there, you go down to fast food. Mm. So well, I think, from there, you go down again. And fast food is more for um, time poor and money poor. That's how I see it. Yeah. Right? Oh, oh, yeah. When like I'm now, poor, I now when, you, when you, I think maybe more people have to take a second job because you have to pay for mortgage or pay for it and other, mm -hmm. other expenses. You have to take a second job. You don't have time to cook. You're looking for cheaper, fast option, then you've got to go fast food. So maybe a lot more people are going for fast food now. Yeah. I think the winning the winner would be that the fast food consumer mm. will be a lot more bigger because they can't afford to go to find that. Mm. That's just our, our theory, by the way. <laughs> but we, we just cut out the lot. We don't even, we don't go out often unless we have friends. Okay, back to like moving out of Sydney. Oh, yeah. So now so. We, um, we live in Brisbane mm -hmm. and we have bigger space. We love to call Costco, my favorite. So. <laughs> I, what I realized, Costco is not cheap. Not no. cheap at all. And then you end up spending um, more because they, they got good quality of food, though, I would say. Yeah. And then we're looking at the, there's a lot of interest of people getting out of Sydney because of the pressure of having a house to say. Mm. Um, it, it goes up to the point now where it's, what is it? What's the median price? Is it like eight, I nine, don't know. One point. Was, no, over my, one for a long time. So one, one, one point two, one point six. I don't know. Whereas in here, mm. it's still at the hundreds of thousands. Under one, maybe. Yeah, I think one. it's going to crack one already. I don't know. 
but yeah we, mm-hmm. we found that i guess the living cost in here i, I feel like it's a little bit lower mm-hmm. um and the lifestyle in here is a little bit not as hustling and bustling and it could also be because we live in this particular area well so i was just literally reading that because when for human if we live in an urban fast-paced city you, of course you're stressful you got a lot of things to chase and you try not to socialize because you're time poor but when you're in a smaller suburb you you you're closer to nature and you feel more relaxed you feel more happy and you're willing to talk to people that's how, how i was reading the news and it makes sense yeah yeah well when you go out nature you go holiday go in somewhere quiet and chill you feel happy i've, I've found that our our activity in here mm. it's a lot more outdoor space instead of indoor yeah. space mm-hmm. um even if it's at home there's still like an outdoor activity that we do mm-hmm. um whereas in sydney it's more of indoor space where yeah. you have to consume you have to purchase you have to do this do that whereas we can go to national mm. parks or doing a bushwalk or mm-hmm. yeah you know, um that's what i found in brisbane so yeah. m- maybe it's just us i think it's your age. choice yeah. as well like um we don't have any close friends in here so we choose what we want to do but when we were in sydney we have other friends and oh, they want to go there okay let's take along mm-hmm. but yeah. we, we do prefer to choose more outdoor activity if the weather is permitted Permit. yeah, yeah. Mm. and what we found in here is like everything is close but you gotta drive. Oh, it's not close. <laughs> Everything's so Everything's far. within half an hour. So far. But you gotta drive. Hundred kilometer per hour. You gotta drive on the highway. Mm-hmm. So everything is close. Half an hour proximity. Mm-hmm. But it'll be like fifty k. Yeah, so. but I well, I was reading that they're comparing. So um, Sydney's living standard is the highest, but apparently Brisbane is just one percent lower than Sydney. Oh wow. Yeah. Okay. Apparently Melbourne is a lot cheaper. I gotta find the article and um yeah yeah put put it here. Um, but yeah, so for from the way we look at it is it's all in perspective, relative or perspective. Yes, mm. like it's all relative in terms of how you look at life. Yep. Um, how you look at the world and how you look at your current situation. Yep. But without your job, I don't think Brisbane's. It was not in our we, list at all. No, we, we too, far. <laughs> too far. Too far from Sydney. It's like, oh, okay, the only downside about this is like, everywhere you gotta yeah. go, you gotta drive. It's not yeah. like a walking distance anymore. Mm-hmm. Whereas where we used to live in a very high density mm. uh, metro area, like everything, there's always something going on. In here, at five o'clock, everything's shut and, and dark. dark. Really dark. Especially during winter. Well, what do we mean? Autumn? Oh, yeah, autumn. Yeah, autumn. Next month is winter. So, um, yeah, we don't really go out after five. <laughs> no, we only go Costco. <laughs> yeah. But overall, like, um, it, it's been a good transition. Yep. Well, I think because we got a bigger space, everyone have their own room, even though we still, we got three bathrooms, we still love to share one. <laughs> we get well, yeah. Our <laughs> Very kids funny. have their own bathroom, but yeah, they still use ours. Our kids have their own rooms, but they still like prefer to share. sharing their room together. Yeah. Um, because we used to that confined, like everything's just on top of They just like to close to each, each other. So anyway, that's just our two cents, guys. Um, now, how, how do we deal with when you felt like there's a lot of pressure on yourself? What pressure? Like, you know, you're feeling, feeling the pinch like, oh, you know what? I can't buy a house in this city. I can't foresee that. There's a well, certain point. Mm-hmm. Um, like say if you want to go straight ahead it's like uh, for us it's like luckily I was I had the opportunity to mm-hmm. move to a new city work transfer well we were so stressful so what we did um, we sold our apartment yep. it's not much different and we got a house in Brisbane yeah if we want to stay in Sydney we cannot get a house that we like we'll be very different house because um very far away very far away poor quality maybe because we checked yeah. few houses it's not what we wanted i do we really want to pay for that much money for these like sometimes oh. like we're looking at the um, social demographic as well mm-hmm. uh, looking 
at the as far as important when you have um, kids yeah yeah mm. we're looking at the community alone it's like oh, i really want to raise my kids and some of it's like mm, probably not a good idea yeah so uh, it is a big um big change when you change when you move or thinking of moving i cried and took me some time to accept the fact that we are moving but it's for the better future yeah in here we can still see the future for our kids where they can mm. still able to possibly purchase a home Whereas not too sure it's catching up really fast in brisbane it's because of the interstate people doing the same thing what we're doing yeah everywhere <laughs> But yeah, as a whole, uh, I can still see uh, at a cheaper, um, low price point. Lower entry. Yeah. Yeah, compared to Sydney, of course. But mm -hmm. yeah, it, it all comes down to what you want and mm -hmm. how you see yourself in the future. Mm -hmm. um, I guess the earlier you decided this, the better it is for you. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, sometimes we did regret. Why didn't we do this earlier? Yeah, there's some yeah. stage of our lives like, oh my mm. god, this is so nice. Oh my god, like mm. today, uh, uh, I was working, and you know, uh, where if that was in Sydney, uh, um, I guess the trades that I use, mm. like, oh, you want, you know, as totally friendly. Mm -hmm. um, I guess maybe it's a smaller. Not city. as socialized. No. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's just our two saying, guys. Anyway, um, if you like this type of content, don't forget to subscribe, comment. See you next time. Bye.